This is Jordan Tower with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. Let's get ready to the news. Well, the original aunt on Fresh Prince of Bel Air, uh, Janet Hubbard. Okay, so I don't, I don't know if you follow that. Some people don't, but you know, she was the original, and then they replaced her after the first season because Will and her supposedly didn't get along. Blah blah blah. Okay. Well, she's in the hospital now. And, um, you know, she's for years, she's been critical of Will Smith, but she said, don't waste precious time, people in anger. Uh, yes, people will do you wrong and you must fight for the truth no matter for how long. And if you can get the, the truth you seek, find love again. Life is too short. I'm in the hospital holding on to this anger will eat you alive. Anger will. You got to find a way to get past it. it. It'll take time, but you got to get find a way to like. What, what, I don't know. We'll get to that at the end. Um, but anyways, uh, reputation is priceless. I love you, Will, for being strong enough to tell truth and share your hurts and trauma. Now we close the doors and live our lives. Peace out. So that's good. I mean, that's great. Okay. They moved on from that. Let's get to the news and then we'll go, we'll, we'll, we'll go circle back to that because I have some advice for that. Um, then we got French Montana linking up with fake Drake. Maybe, uh, you know, fake Drake will jump on the album. For a second, I thought he linked with Drake. And I was like, this is funny. Uh, so he, he links up with him. Maybe they'll go on tour together or something. Uh, someone said in the comments, they said they both making fake music. That's just wrong, bro. Come on. French Montana got got hits. You know, you can't totally play French Montana. He uses the cheat codes, but he is a hustler. Okay? I'll be critical of French Montana forever. But I'll never denounce his hustle okay uh, someone said he fell off bad with like eh, french montana is having a bad he's had this before and he's bounced back okay don't forget when he dropped i think it was mac and cheese four that didn't do so well but then he came right with uh the song with sway lee unforgettable and came right back don't underestimate french montana's uh, he keeps his relationships good even though he was faking, he still had a good relationship with Rick Ross and Meek Mill. We'll touch on that in another video. Um, he does keep most of his relationships intact. Uh, Little Kim puts uh, Angela Yee on blast because Angela Yee doesn't even run her own Facebook, most likely. They do these, you know, recaps, right? Little Kim explains the Nicki Minaj beef. Old, right? But Little Kim says, why are we bringing this up? This interview is how many years ago? Like, really, Angela Yee? This is whack, but go viral. No, actually, you have to keep your old content circulating. Calm down, little Kim. Calm down. We, we, we know you're the queen bee. Calm down. Okay. Uh, Rick Ross, richer than I ever been. Out 10, 12, 10, 21 this week, okay? That's a hard day to drop because Kanye and Drake are doing a concert that day. I hope Rick Ross shows up to the Free Larry Hoover concert. I like the song Little Havana that's out, and I hope the Rick Ross album is good because if you're putting this on armored trucks, it better be crazy. It looks like he's sponsored by Garter World, too. So that, I don't get this clip that's going on. It's Cardi B saying, like, like the black woman in the club, and then T Boz gets under it and says, poor Nicki Minaj. Okay. Then T Boz claims she was hacked because she was getting backlash, right? Hey guys, account was hacked, and I never made the comment about Nicki Minaj. I have no problem and never have with her, blah, blah, blah. Nah, it was, you got some backlash, and you changed it up. Anyways, Kodak Black, um, he does he says, does an interview with uh, All 1K and Just, Just Z, Just Zeek. I forget their name. They're, they're funny on YouTube. I like these guys. They react to songs all the time. Anyways, they're doing interviews now. So they interview Kodak Black. Kodak Black seemed a little off in the interview, but Kodak Black is different, bro. They say, He said, laugh out loud. I be fake and like I'm sleepy. I don't be guys. I get drug tested constant, consistently. His fans are worried that he's going to go back to jail. I worry about that, honestly, because I don't want to see him keep going to jail. I mean, come on, bro. You, you messed up enough when you were younger. You're old enough now to not mess. You don't have a chance. Dude, Trump bailed him out let's be honest okay because like that's the president let him out he was lucky that that lawyer had the connection um 
Stevie J, claim, they claim that he was filing for spousal support. And then it was also brought up that Stevie J also loaned Faith 75K a few years ago to buy a house, which was probably like, you know, half of the deposit, I guess, because she probably had to put 20% down. You know, I'm sure their house costs around a million bucks. They got to live lavish and godly. <laughs> um... What do we got next? Jana Hubbard. We already covered that. I thought I had more than that. Could I black down to... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, there's something from Casanova that I'll just throw in here because I forgot to take a snapshot of it. Casanova said, the realists get treated the worst. We win in the end. I promise you that. He's been locked up for a year. I think he's going to be doing a lot of time. I hate to be negative, but it seems like the last one to take a deal always gets the short end of the stick. Anyways, guys, I know I took a couple hours. Well, I took many hours off this afternoon. I just took today off. I was feel, I'm going to be honest with you. I was feeling down today. I don't know why. I just woke up feeling like that. Maybe it's the diet I'm on, and I'm like, you know, I'm only eating like, if you follow my Instagram, you see that like, I only eat like shrimp, asparagus, very little carbs. You know, I work out a lot. I think my body is just going through. I lost a lot of weight recently. So and a lot of things have been going on, like like in relationship, not not like girlfriend wise. But, well, I did get out of that relationship, but a lot of little things have been going on. And I think subconsciously that stuff kind of affects you. Now, talking about harboring hate, this is the end of the video. So if you don't want to listen to this, you can click off. But a lot of things happen in life and they can make you angry. I've had things happen to me, bad business deals and stuff. The way I find a deal with it after a few months, first you got to get past it, right? You got to like realize, like, okay, what did I do in my actions to allow this to happen? Because there's always a way to prevent something bad from happening to you and you got to analyze what you didn't see so you see it in the future before it happens you don't want this to happen to you again right so you got to notice those things and kind of take part of the blame even though this person did it to you you allowed them to do it to you that's a better way to deal with it so when you move forward because life isn't over right <laughs> as you move forward you don't make those mistakes again and you don't allow that to happen again happen to you again let the loss be a lesson okay um yeah and just keep powering through stress and situations you know life is weird life is a bunch of adjustments uh you know recently i went through uh, it wasn't a bad breakup i was kind of ready to relieve the relationship anyways but you find out some things at the end of a relationship i'm not going to go into detail on exactly what happened with the girl I was with for like a couple years. But basically, I think she kind of like, I helped her through a lot of situations if you follow the channel, like, you know, her daughter died a couple years ago. I helped her through that, a bunch of stuff. But recently, anything I did to help her set, get her forward in life, she would undo it. You know, she has a son that kind of, you know, it's like, uh, destructive and sets her back so uh you know I, I i can't i couldn't keep like you know setting you forward and you undo it you know so uh she actually had a it seemed like a, a mental breakdown recently and and i uncovered like as i was trying to help her through that right uh, some things got uncovered that I was like, I can't really stick around for this. First, she was like trying to take everyone down. It was crazy, bro. Like, imagine somebody having a mental breakdown. But like, if you hang around, some when someone's having a certain breakdown, right? I mean, they could start calling the cops. She was like calling the cops on her son. But I was like, whoa. <laughs> I'm not trying to get like, you know, involved in this. It's a little too crazy. And I found out she did some stuff of betrayal to me that goes back for like a year or two. Certain stuff that can happen to anyone. And, you know, that just gave me the, the, the confirmation that I needed to leave. I was already kind of ready to leave. You know, I helped her through a hard time in her life. Um, I, I put my own wants and needs aside. Um, I did the best I could as a human being. Um, 
but you know it's time to it's time for me to fly spread my wings and fly but that doesn't affect me but i think subconsciously it did does affect me and, you know certain other things like you know you take care of your parents you, your bro you know yeah i always I, I wear people's other people's problems on my shoulders too much and i try to help people too much that's always been a problem of mine and uh I think that stuff kind of like eats away at me, especially like if I'm dieting and I'm not like, you know, I'm taking care of myself now a lot better. Like the past six months, I've been like working out every day. I've been eating better every day. I lost like 60 pounds, you know, and I got about like 20, 30 more to go. And then I'll be back to normal. But I think subconsciously, these things kind of add up in my, my head. And I have down days. And I think today was just, you know, today just didn't feel like 100%. I'm usually just a neutral person. I don't feel, I just feel neutral. I'm always neutral. But today I felt down, you know? So uh, I just felt like, you know, I'm going to take a break today. I'm going to eat a little normal today. Like, and not work and take a day off of working out. Because, like, I think that all that was starting to, like, eat away at me. I am going to go work out now because it's a new day. <laughs> but, uh... Yeah, I just wanted to share that with you. Uh, sometimes we're all going through stuff, and sometimes if you hear someone else's BS, uh, it helps a little bit more. We're all, and I just want you guys to know, like, you know, we're all just normal people, and we all go through things. And I'll always share the things I'm going through. Like, you know, if I get betrayed by somebody, I'll let you know. Like, you know, like we're all going through things. It doesn't make you less of a person if somebody like betrays you or cheats on you or this. That, bro, it happens, you know? You can't prevent that stuff. You can't control somebody else's actions, you know? You could get cheated. I've been cheated on in the past where it's just me, like, focused on my goals, you know? And, like, if you're focused on your goals, somebody else might feel a little bit left behind, and they might cheat on you. That's how they react, and that's their loss, you know? Like, because you, know, you should never stand for being betrayed like that, you know? Um, because I, I wasn't cheating on anyone. I had plenty of opportunities in the past, you know, and I, I, I wouldn't do that to somebody because I've been cheated on early, like when I was in high school, oh no, college, I got cheated on. And, you know, when I, when that happened to me, I said, you know what? Um, I said, you know what? I don't want to ever make somebody feel like this. So I'm not going to do that. And I haven't really cheated on anybody. Anyways. I'm just blabbing at this point. <laughs> I'll let you guys go. I thank you for listening to me. This helps me too. Even when I give you guys advice or, or we just talk, it helps me as well. I love you guys and I appreciate you. Uh, all the subscribers, members. I'm going to start dropping member-only videos of like my workouts and stuff. Uh, and like motivational type stuff. Like I'm going to still do the motivation on the regular videos, but... I think I'm going to start dropping like member videos like three times a week just to update on my workout status and everything, maybe to help other people. Don't take it as like, this is what you should do. I'm going to just show you what I'm doing. It seems to be working. It's not extremely fast because I don't want to like, to go extremely fast, you just got to like, just go on juice fast. And that's, that can really, uh, you have to be emotionally strong to do that. And I'm, I don't feel like I'm 100% there right now. I'm going to juice fast this week. But after that, I'm going to take it slow again with the tuna and shrimp and all that. Anyways, and I'll show you all the supplements I take. Not for like working out, just for like life. I appreciate you guys. This is Jordan Tower with JT News. Smash that like button. Smash that subscribe button. And I'll check you guys in the next one. Peace.